Advocates for senior citizens are worried about the caregiver shortage. And while there's been a short term solution to try to help, they tell News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen there needs to be a long term funding plan to save the state's program. We recently told you about Marvin Berry Jr's problem. He can't find home caregivers. Getting them from the bed to the chair and then back to the bed. That, that's the hardest part of this job. He says they keep leaving for higher paying jobs. Currently under 10 cares choices program, they can only make up to $13 an hour. Due to the home caregiver shortage, 400 million in federal funding is coming to Tennessee, but advocates are worried about what will happen after that. We've already seen that um, and you know the last two years really dealing with COVID. It is amazing to me that we didn't see a slowdown of people wanting services in their homes. It's only grown um, and with the current status of things and not having enough labor in these scenarios, it's a constant decision for us on who is going to get care and who's not. For Isabel Strader at home instead, she's glad that the funding will go toward wage increases. But the wait list continues to grow. It's not uncommon that we have to turn people away right now. In home care is usually more affordable than a nursing home. It's definitely a huge, huge um, difference and definitely can save money when you talk about the cost of facility setting versus a home care setting. She wants lawmakers to come up with a long term funding solution for 10 cares caregiver program as baby boomers get older. And I think it's just so important for them to understand that this is not something that's only a need right now. This will continue to be a need moving forward. Reporting in Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5.